right? We have kind of two locations. We have Berlin and we have Switzerland. So here in Berlin, it's a very standard office with some engineering added. Normal startup office space, marketing, communication. Some of our doctors are, are here. Relatively standard office space. Plus then we have a bit of medical engineering stuff. So this is, for example, one of our storage locations for medical equipment for our ambulances and conference rooms. Nothing super exciting. And then a couple, basically like a workshop kind of thing where we design stuff, where we build stuff, where we store cryoprotective agent, a lot of 3D printing, a lot of designing stuff. We basically buy medical equipment and then we retrofit it to work for cryopreservation. Okay. So this is one of our cryopreservation storage areas here. This is training equipment and this is cryoprotective agent that would be used for cryopreservation of humans, right? It needs to be cooled. There's more in the basement. So some of them is at four degrees and some of them is in the basement at minus 20. This from outside, it's an ambulance. Yeah. From the inside, it has now become become a mobile operating room. You can do basically full operations in here. How you would do it. So when a patient dies somewhere and the attending doctor would say this person has now legally died, then you bring the patient in here as quick as possible. You start with very aggressive chest compressions. Of course, the person, not to revive the person, but to pump blood and keep the body alive on a cellular level, not the whole body. The whole body has died and so on, right? You do chest compressions, you give oxygen, you give medication, you do everything that you would do on a cellular level to keep the body the cells alive okay. and most importantly of course the brain while you do this you start cooling